Well, welcome back to Big Board. Here we are looking at the big board at the northern maps, the GB2 maps for uh, my little Case Blue campaign. And it's the 19th, it's October uh, 19th, light mud. Soviets picked up the uh, initiative and it's gonna be dry weather in the south but light mud in the north. Uh, for the first time, uh, Soviets actually rolled low on the supplies. Only get 18 SP this turn, and that is uh, actually an interesting timing on that to happen because you know, I just have seen a unit that needs to go back to an airfield. Um, interesting timing because there's a lot that the Soviets need to do in terms of. Uh, stiffening and deepening their, uh, their defense. And what I think I'm gonna start doing from now on as I play, uh, just probably say I should have been doing that anyway, but uh, what I'm gonna be doing is looking at each of the major avenues <coughs> of approach to objectives and looking at what resources and units I have in place. So here we've got, this guy's got his zone of control, we'll pop him on top. Uh, um, what units we have in place to try and block the roads and block the, uh, the fast access routes for, for, the, uh, for the Germans. We're in a little bit of a mess down here in terms of keeping things in supply, but I figure while I can absorb uh, the movement and activities of at least, I think there's one, uh, first Panzer is over there, part of seventh Panzer is over there, one of the motorized divisions is over there, and uh, there's a swag of, and this is, I can't read this upside down. And 6th Panzer is uh, here as well. So we've tied up three divisions of units trying to trying to take Rajev and uh, possibly more you know, with all the ancillaries. You now, what the Germans haven't done is pushed much by way of infantry up in this direction. The majority of it is coming up the, the road uh, to Vyazma, which is now back here it's back here so anyway so I'm going to be looking at the approach the approach lanes for for the Germans just to make sure that we keep them covered and we don't have any nasty surprises it's one thing to have a couple of attacks but it's another thing to have them drive to the gates of Moscow now I have been holding you know several units back uh, to keep defenses in place when I say keep them in place, I mean extend them and uh, and and build upon them and and deepen them. <laughs> so you know, I've got two lines here right now. The things are a little thin up here. Uh, this was a surprise to me as the as the Soviet player this turn. How far these guys got? I don't know what's going to happen with the trace supply for everybody on the German side in the next turn. But we've got second Panzer. Uh, all the way up here, a majority of it, and uh, elements of 5th, all of 20th, some of 10th, and uh, just a swag of guys trying to push up this way. You'll note that around this part of Bryansk, it's fairly scarce. There's no zones of control blocking anything. And that's because based on the way I'm reading the breakout rules, these guys were, have, have been out of supply have not been within the requisite number of hexes uh, without some control interfering uh, to try and do a breakout. So they're still officially out of supply and not able to break out, which is why the Germans were trying to get these, uh, these units down here. And I'll have to do a recheck on breakout opportunities. But uh, <coughs> Bryansk is just one or two turns away from dropping. Um, and we'll see what happens. Kursk is another fine mess. I uh, didn't realize, but the Germans had actually... Move 
this heat up. Uh, the Germans had actually put the put the Russians out of supply by by taking uh, Belgrade uh, down here, and that has caused all sorts of trouble. So those guys are officially out of supply, and they will uh, wither on the vine fairly quickly unless we can get air reinforcements in, which. You know, there's nothing cutting the airport at the moment. Uh, I believe there's an airport in here, though, I think. I don't want to pull that apart right now to check. So that's uh, another little uh, puzzle we have. Now, down in Kharkov, I'm actually feeling okay about Kharkov proper at the moment. It's got a fair amount of supply in it, a decent number of units, and uh, the supply chain has just petered out for the Germans. That's probably, including the Belgorod, uh, location here that's about as far as they're going to get for the time being anyway so we've got some time to uh, stiffen up the recent the, the defense here and perhaps try and uh, secure this flank this way and keep the lines of supply open via this rail here that's going to be the key really uh, it's keeping that rail line open which means keeping this town secure here yeah, that's uh, Kupiansk, I believe it is. That sounded official, didn't it? All right, that's a quick little update. I thought I'd uh, share that with you. I'll pop this up in the next uh, three, four days, and we'll, uh, by then I should have finished this turn, and hopefully, where are we at? One, two, three, four, uh, so got four turns to go. Before we finish the month, we'll have our first month under our belt, and then we'll uh, see how we feel about everything and go from there. Talk to you soon.